Hello friends, this video on neat current electricity is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. 15. For the circuit shown in the figure below, the equivalent resistance between points A and B is. So we have to find equivalent resistance between these two points. So let us draw a simplified version of the circuit. So this is point A and this is point B. Okay, so between point A and B, we have a 10 ohm resistance, that is this resistance. Okay, perfect. Now between points A and B, we have 3 ohms linked to 7 ohms linked to 5 ohms. So this 3 ohms, 7 ohms and 5 ohms, they are connected end to end between A and B. What does that mean? That means that these 3 resistances are connected in a row like this 3 ohms, 7 ohms and 10 and 5 ohms. So this is 3, 7 and 5 and this one was 10 ohms. Now what is left out? 10 ohms which is between A and C and C is a point between 7 ohm and 5 ohm resistance. So C is somewhere here. So between A and C you have another resistance of 10 ohms. So this is a simplified version of the circuit. Now when you draw this circuit in this fashion, it becomes very clear to you which resistors are pa in parallel, which ones are in series. That becomes very clear. So now if you look at this diagram, you can very easily first simplify this part. So first of all, you see that 7 and 3, they are in series. So 7 plus 3 is 10. Now you see this 10 and this 10 ohms, these two are in parallel. So 1 by R parallel is equal to 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10, which is equal to 2 by 10. So 2 fives are 10. Therefore, R parallel is equal to 5 ohms. That means this entire thing. Now you can remove 3, 7 and 10. Instead of all of these, you can just write 5 ohms because 5 ohms is the equivalent resistance of these three resistances. Right? So now this 5 ohm will be in series with this 5 ohm because this entire thing is replaced with one 5 ohm resistor. Right? So basically the circuit diagram now has become somewhat like this. You have one 5 ohm here, you have one 5 ohm here and you have a 10 ohm here. So this is how the circuit looks like now. So now these two 5 ohms are in series. So they together make a 10 ohm. Now this 10 ohm and this 10 ohm, they are in parallel. So 1 by R equivalent is equal to 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10, which is equal to 2 by 10. So 2 fives are 10. This is 1 by 5. So R equivalent is equal to 5 ohms. So B is the right option. Question number 16. If the voltage across a bulb rated 220 volts, 100 watt, drops by 2.5% of its rated value, then the percentage of the rated value by which the power would decrease is. Now, how is power related to uh, resistance or voltage? So, power is equal to V square by R. Therefore, we can say that an increase in power delta P by P will be equal to 2 into delta V by V because resistance is anyways constant, right? So delta P by P is equal to 2 into delta V by V. This is something which we have already learned in our theory. So in this question, the percentage increase that is this, this would be the percentage increase. So if you multiply 100 on both sides, the entire thing remains the same. Now this is the percentage increase in the power. Correct? And this is the percentage increase in the voltage. Correct? The question says that the voltage drops by 2.5%. So the voltage drop in percentage is given by 2.5%. So the power drop will be equal to 2 into 2.5 which is 5%. So the correct option is C. Question number 17. In the circuit shown, the potential difference between X and Y will be. So what would be the potential difference between these two points? So if you look at this circuit, this is an open circuit. And what happens in an open circuit? There is no current flow. 
so the current flow is equal to zero now since there is no current flow that means the potential difference between these two points is what so if you look so that means since there is no current flow so there is no voltage drop across 40 ohm resistor there is no voltage drop across 20 ohm resistor so that means there is no voltage drop in the overall circuit so the potential difference between these two points would be the same as the emf of the cell right because in this case it is an open circuit and emf of the cell is 120 volts so emf would be equal to the potential difference between these two points so 120 volts would be the answer Question number 18. Six resistances each of value R is equal to 5 ohms are connected between points A, B and C as shown in the figure. If R1, R2, R3 are the net resistance between A and B, between B and C and between A and C respectively, then R1 is to R2 is to R3 will be equal to. Okay. So in this case, it is very important that we understand the question properly because there is a trick within the question. Okay. So you see... Uh, first of all, I'll tell that here you have just one resistance R between A and B, but between B and C you have two resistances in parallel and between A and C you have three resistances in parallel. So it is somewhat like this. Let us assume that you have one one resistance in between all these three points. This is A, this is B and this is C. Now let us say this is R2 dash and this is R3 dash and this is R1 dash. So R1 dash represents R, R2 dash represents the parallel resistance of these two resistances, R3 dash represents the parallel resistances of these three resistances. So basically these three taken together represents R3 dash, these two taken together represents R2 dash and this one represents R1 dash. Now you might ask then what is R1, R2, R3 which is given in the question. So R1 is the net resistance between A and B. Now when you have to calculate net resistance between these two points that is not just R1 dash. That is R1 dash which is in parallel with these two resistances. So if I ask you equivalent resistance between point A and B, it is basically the series combination of R2 dash, R3 dash, which is in parallel with R1 dash. So that is the net resistance between A and B. So basically R1 is equal to series combination of R2 dash and R3 dash. So R2 dash, R3 dash in series and this entire thing in parallel with R1 dash. So that is the net resistance between points A and B. Similarly, the net resistance between points B and C would be the series combination of R1 dash and R3 dash. That is R1 dash series combination with R3 dash. This entire thing in parallel combination with R2 dash. And in a very similar way, R3 would be equal to series combination of R1 dash, R2 dash, which would be in parallel combination with R3 dash. So this is what we mean by R1, R2, R3. So now in this question, we have to calculate the values of R1, R2, R3 and then find their ratios. So I hope you understood the problem. If you understood the problem, then, it, then I think hereafter you can do it on your own. Okay, so now our next task would be to calculate the values of R1 dash, R2 dash and R3 dash. So what will be R1 dash? R1 dash is anyways equal to R. What is R2 dash? R2 dash is basically parallel combination of R and R which is equal to R by 2. So R2 dash is equal to R by 2. And what is R3 dash? That is again parallel combination of R, R and R. So this is equal to R by 3, right? So we have calculated R1 dash as R, R2 dash as R by 2 and R3 dash as R by 3. So now we have these three values. We can put these three values in these three relations and calculate the value of R1, R2, R3. So let's do that. So we will first start with R1. So R1 is basically series combination of R3 dash and R2 dash, this in parallel combination with R1 dash. So R3 dash is R by 3, R2 dash is R by 2, 
So this is in parallel combination with R1 dash. So R by 3 plus R by 2 is equal to 5 R by 6 and this is in parallel combination with R1 dash. So therefore we can say 1 by R1 will be equal to 1 by 5 R by 6 plus 1 by R1 dash. So that's how we calculate parallel combination, right? So this will be equal to 6 by 5 R plus 1 by R. So this is equal to 11 by 5 R. Therefore, we can say R1 is equal to 5 R by 11. So this is the value of R1. Now in a similar way, we have to calculate R2. So R2 is series combination of R1 dash and R3 dash and this in parallel combination with R2 dash. So this would be R plus R by 3 which is in parallel combination with R2 dash. So R plus R by 3 would be 4 R by 3 in parallel combination with R2 dash. So therefore 1 by R2 will be equal to 1 by 4 by 3 which is 3 by 4 plus 1 by R2 dash. So 3 by 4 R and R2 dash is R by 2. So this would be 2 by R. So this value is equal to 11 by 4 R. Therefore R2 is equal to 4 R by 11. So we have calculated R2. Now we have to calculate R3. So R3 as we have said that it is series combination of R1 dash and R2 dash and this in parallel combination with R3 dash. So this will be equal to R plus R by 2 in parallel combination with R3 dash. So R plus R by 2 is 3 R by 2 in parallel combination with R3 dash. So we can say 1 by R3 is equal to 1 by 3 R by 2 which is 2 by 3 R plus 1 by R3 dash which is 3 by R. So this is equal to 11 by 3 R or we can say R3 is equal to 3 R by 11. So this is the value of R3. So now we have very successfully calculated the values of R1, R2 and R3. So now all we need to do is just find out their ratio. So R1 is to R2 is to R3 will be equal to 5 R by 11 is to 4 R by 11 is to 3 R by 11. So you see R, R, R will get cancelled, 11, 11, 11 will get cancelled. So you will be left with 5 is to 4 is to 3. So this is the correct answer. So the ratio between R1, R2, R3 is 5 is to 4 is to 3 is to 1. So the most important point that, that had to be understood in this question is R1, R2, R3 are different from R1 dash, R2 dash and R3 dash because many a times people would mistake it that way. People would think that it net resistance between A and B is R1 dash but that's not the case. Net resistance between A and B is R1 which is basically parallel combination of R1 dash with the series combination of the other two resistances. Right? Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.